see, man. What happened to me, man? I don't know. I, I woke up and I just don't know what happened. Yeah, anybody out there know what happened? <laughs> yeah, neither do I. Goofy C. Mayor, he, he done something to me. But, anyway. You know, I tell you that dumbass yesterday, he, he had problems. <laughs> yeah, he was in bad shape yesterday, I guess. <laughs> he uh, uh, went to work. And now he talked about his second channel. He thinks he needs a second channel, you know. And, uh, well, he went to work and had some troubles and work got cut short so he went home and yeah, while he was at home the idiot was sitting in his chair watching a video and boom he hit the floor <laughs> scared the heck out of his family too ah oh, man yeah this shit all right yeah there we go well anyway he uh forgot all about the video yesterday because he could keep going, so I guess we'll have to find out if he's here today or not. See how he's doing. I tell ya. Hey, some days I wonder if he's beyond help. <laughs> so, anyway, we'll be back. Alright? Hang in there. He's, he's not, but we'll hang in there for him, alright? Alright. Hey, guys. What's up? Oh, I kind of had a rough day yesterday. <laughs> but anyway, we're out here at the farm. I had to break down, call the doctor again today, sit around. Luckily, it didn't make me go in. See, I'm diabetic, you know. And diabetics get what they call neuropathy. Well, I've had neuropathy in my lower legs. And uh, last week or two, backside of my thighs, my backside, now it's moving up my back. Just itching. I'm surprised I haven't taken my skin off, but, uh, anyway, the doctor was nice, didn't make me come in, he just sent the proof script in, so. Since it was after dinner, I didn't even bother going to work, because I didn't have any money for gas. So, I come out to the farm, to see what we can figure out we can do, or what. But I tell you, I think I finally found a magic number for, uh, controlling the diabetes. I am up to, up to taking 180 units of insulin twice a day. In the morning and the evening. Uh, Doc said he says after I eat, he doesn't want me to spike over 150, and I'm not. Uh, what did I start? Uh, I think I started out at 121 today. Your normal range is, like I said, is 80 to 120. So I'm getting it down. I'm feeling better. I'm sleeping a little better. But I tell you. From going from the high numbers to the low numbers, my body is fighting me like, Hey, where's that sugar? Come on, come on! Yeah. Oh. I wish I had a time machine go back to the day that somebody told me, You should quit drinking that pop! And beat the crap out of myself if I did! Uh, anyway. So we're out here. going to try and figure out something to do. Uh, I got some vending jig ideas I want to do, so we might do a little welding, I don't know. But, uh, if you guys have been seeing a crazy guy on here, uh, don't pay any attention to him. I don't know where that come from, but I swear somebody picks up my camera and plays with it when I ain't looking. So, we got a bunch of rain, too, during the night sometime. I don't know when. I didn't pay attention to it. All I know is I overslept this morning hard. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty bad when you're running basically hot water over your body to try and kill it. Because that, I pretty much emptied our 50 gallon water heater this morning. Uh, shouldn't have been able to, so I think I got another issue with my hot water heater coming up. Again, I just replaced heating elements and that, that not that long ago, I'm thinking of that. God dang it. I wonder if I ever paid him for picking that up. I'll have to ask him. Damn it. Anyway, uh, and I barely got that. Oh, it was just, 
Hey, I guess unless you have the diabetic stuff, you ain't gonna understand the relief you get with that warm water going over, but uh, yeah. And yes, Iron Man, if you're watching, I will have a list made up and hopefully to you tonight. So, sorry about that, dude. And, uh, oh yeah, thank you for some more subscribers. We're climbing. Uh, might get there yet. So, I really wish this thing here would get. I guess if I don't have, if we don't have plans of picking up a tranny here in the next couple days, I'm just going to box everything up, put it in the back of this thing, and push her out the door. Uh, it's taking up valuable shop space, and I, now that I own that brown truck, I wouldn't mind having that brown truck running before winter. And I think I'm going to enjoy having an 8-foot pickup box again. And once I get that truck going, then I might work on more of the green 96 GMC, get the cab corner net on it, and get it painted, get her fixed up, looking good, and see if we can pedal it again. So, anyhow. Well, I guess, uh, we'll see what today brings. So, I feel, I feel better. Um, and yesterday out at work, I don't know, started welding. Because I know that part, I'm not using any of the footage from yesterday, I guess. Because uh, it don't make sense to me now. It, it did yesterday, but... While I was at work, I started welding, and I got into a coffin hack and fit, and coughing up chunks out of here. It got short of breath again. I'm like, God dang it. I cleaned the helmet and everything, and uh, I just like something. I got a whiff of something, so I don't know if it's the oils on the metal burning off, because some of the stuff is oiled metal. I don't know, so. If that is the case, that's the first time I, well, Years ago, I got sick when I was working in a factory. And uh, I don't know if you guys have, well, I'm sure you have because they've sold over a million bolt trailers and that, Shorelander trailers. The factory's just about 15, 12, 15 miles away from uh, me. I used to work there and I worked in the fab. I punched, punched out parts, I formed parts, I the big wheels on those big boat lifts. I rolled the tubing for those. Made handles. Up, and then they got me into the welding department and I loved it. And when I started having health issues, uh, after I got done working there for a while, you know, you hold your trigger and you're welding parts. And the other one day I welded over 3,000 parts. I welded the robot. That was fun. They gave me the robot jig that had six of them in there and I first time through I ended up burning up a glove then I realized weld this way then go that way I got in the groove and I welded up 3,000 of those handles just boom 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 the guy running the robot says knock that off because if somebody in the factory could out weld somebody that means you could raise the parts quota he told me to knock it off so he made me stand around for about an hour not doing anything so yeah <laughs> Anyway, when I finally uh, had to leave there that time for months, I walked around, my hand stayed in the position like I was holding the trigger gun, the trigger on the welding gun. I couldn't get my hands to straighten out. That's all that, like that, that's all that would straighten out. Well, now I can straighten them out. So, and that was not long after that is when the doctors told me I was losing strength in my hands. And then I worked at DeKalb Seeds, helping rebag and bake seed corn. And that's when I really, uh, I couldn't grab a bag of seed and pull it no more. It, I couldn't hold on to it. So then they stuck me on the forklift and I was able to run the forklift. Because I didn't have to do anything, just kept my hand on the control and go. So yeah, I've ran forklifts. I've worked in factories. Uh, I 
used to run the machines to go detasseling. God. I look back, I guess I haven't been as lazy as what I feel like I am now, but uh, I wish I could do everything like I did when I was younger. I'm building the race cars and lawnmowers and... Yeah. Working in the salvage yards, crushing, car crushing cars, watching employees blow up a couple of cars. Yeah. That's... Yeah. <laughs> but... Uh, so yeah, that's then after the decal, that's when the doctor says you really need to find something else because you're losing the strength of my hand, your hands. And to this day yet, I can I can pretty much carry stuff, but uh, holding on to it or sometimes my hand just just let's go, just it's on the floor. So. But anyway, I'm, that's enough about me. I'm getting into another one of these talking videos again, so. Alright, take her easy. Oh, well, I'll be back. <laughs> and my numbers are good, so. I don't know why I'm like this. Wow, oh, hey, look at this. Huh. Ha! Okay. Maybe I better check my numbers. Alright. I know when I checked them, I was okay. All right. Welcome to my world under the vehicle. Played hell getting one of the flywheel bolts out, but uh, let's pop this thing off and see what the heck we got. Oh, that's not a good sign. That is not a good sign. I was hoping. Oh, there it is. I was hoping it was going to be this seal leaking. But looky there. It's the freaking oil pan leaking all the engine oil. Yeah. That crank seal's dry. It's coming out great. There. See how that is? It's the oil pan gasket, and you right there. This went up there, too. Great. So, actually, and if he wants to drive it, you can see it just right where it's running, right down and out. You, you can't. I, I, I know it's going to be his call. But uh, putting all this money into what we're doing, I would just go ahead and pull the engine, pull the pan, re-gasket it, and uh, go. And the little shit thing does run good. I mean, it wouldn't take much more to take it out. It'd just be unhook the wires and fuel lines, the motor mounts. I mean, everything's basically undone to do it. But, uh, that's going to run more money. That is going to run more money. He said this oil, well, part of this oil leak too, and then while we got it out, then we can fix that too. It's got a power steering hose leaking. But obviously this was all sealed in that, so there's no way in hell power steering oil got up in here. Yay, yay. So, well, that's loose, well, kind of. Yeah. Well, I guess that answers that there. Let's see what the other side of the puzzle looks like. Yeah, uh, yeah, you can. It's just starting to get oily. Uh, anyway, I guess I don't lose these. I'll go back, but yeah, you got an oil leak. And if you're gonna put a tranny in this, you just will fix the oil leak, because otherwise, 
that oil leak opens up, that gasket completely lets go. It won't take long to pump this thing out of oil and then you're going to be SOL. So, I don't know, I guess. Let's see what he says. So, what I feared was true. I guess. I say I guess a lot, don't I? Alright. Well, hi, you're on that damn thing. Huh, look at that. That damn old seat went up. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm losing my glasses. I can't see. I can't see, man. Hey, that rig up. Damn up my nose. Maybe I can see that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I guess that damn old seat better might know what he's talking about. He says there's a problem there. There's a problem. Mm. Yeah, well, well, you guys can't see me, sorry. Yeah. Well, I got my glasses on wrong, man. Uh, uh, hey, can you see? There we go. I guess they weren't meant for me to lay down with. Now where they? Here they go again. Ah! Ear sacks, huh? <laughs> anyway, looks like he's got more work ahead of him if he's gonna fix this damn thing. I tell ya, shit just keeps piling up around here, don't it? It just piles up like nothing. Yeah. All right. Oh, oh. Hey, there's a light. There's a light. I see the light. Oh no, I see the light! No, oh, it's the big one! <laughs> well, um, yeah, I just talked to the guy on this. Tomorrow's supposed to be Magic Day, we're gonna go pay for it. I said, well, you know, we got a holiday Monday, so I ain't gonna have a training for this until next Thursday, Friday, probably. Um, and I told him about the oil pan, he's like, oh, I don't use that much oil. I said, it's running out sitting here. He's like, oh, I only use eight the eight the court ten thousand miles. Ten thousand miles. All right. Well, I'm gonna when I put it back together, I'm gonna write up on my little bill things. What I do is there was a leaky oil oil pan. Chose not to fix it because. I said, oh, I took the flywheel off, hoping it was your rear seal, and it's not. Your oil pan's leaking. It's like, I ain't going to worry about it. What a shame. What a shame. But anyway, hey, I'm going to mark it up in writing, and he can, it's going to be his. So, I said that. I've been wiping up, I said I've wiped up at least an eighth of a cord sitting here off the floor. Some people, they think they know all about mechanics, so I guess when the thing breaks down alongside the road and he blows the motor up here, not my problem. He was warned. Boy. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Anyway, I guess. Another week to wait before I can... Actually, what the... Oh, yep, I'm going to call them and say, hey, if we're down there, what's the earliest we could have a training? So I'm going to call and check that place. All right. Well, talking to the place there, we're going to get the training through. They said, well, if you get down here tomorrow, you could have it possibly Wednesday, yeah. So I guess uh, as long as he shows up tomorrow and we get that damn thing paid for, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So anyway, uh, I'm going nuts here, running out of stuff to do. Well, not running out of stuff to do, but. I've got some money in an account that it takes two to three days to get out of there, so then thank you to the person that done that, and then you'll know who you are as soon as I said that. I'm going to owe you the world there, buddy. I'm going to owe you the world. Uh, 
so that takes two to three days to get out. And uh the hell? Oh shit. Hm. I guess when I banged the cabinet the other day, I caught my the cotton. Old bitch or so anyway, yep, thanks again to the one that helped out here. Uh, and then now this thing's sitting here for a couple more days. Um, plan is to get that brown truck loaded on the car trailer, taking the town power wash that thing underneath, over, everywhere, get her all cleaned off and cleaned out. And then I'm going to bring that in next, pull the head off, and then taking head off the passenger side, see what it looks like. Looks too bad. Then we'll probably pull the motor out, push her back outside. I've got welding stuff I want to do, but with this in here, I really don't there because I don't want to weld it. I guess I don't want to get too wound up tonight. There's a men's picnic, I think. For the church group, free supper tonight. Yeah, today's Thursday. Yeah, it's tonight. Actually, I gotta call somebody and ask them what time that was. So I'll go to that. See some other people. I know you guys say one day at a time, one thing at a time. I'm freaking out. I am freaking out. Anyway, um, all right, all right, all right. Pat the bear, pat the bear. <laughs> oh, which way is up? Opposite way if I'm standing. Oh, wait. If I'm standing, that should be up, right? <laughs> oh, you guys. All right. Um, yeah. This drives me nuts when people don't want to fix something right. Anyway, all right. Okay, Iron Man. Here is what for quarter inch drive. Now I got some half inch drive stuff I'll figure out here. And then some 3 8 12 point. And looks like one or so 6 point. Sears Craftsman. This here is the set that's missing the 12 point short SK. And if you don't have 12 points, whatever the sizes are, then I got some Sears Craftsman out of this. Deep wells. And extensions missing because there was used to be a long extension with this. I'll figure out which deep ones are missing there. And then this SK box here don't have the SK sockets. They've got Sears. So and then here's what I got for SK stuff. I need a uh, deep set I listed to fill out that set. Um, then wrenches like that is what I'm looking for. And that's only if you want to part with that stuff, like you said. So, in this section of the video I'll probably make private for you. So everybody don't know what we're doing. And, uh, I've got... Then I... One might have some more of these. If you come across those, the wrenches, they had the socket in on them. One might have a few more of those. Or time those come in, then I got the double box ends. I got a few of those, but um, all right, I'll figure out what I'm missing here. You see, that's complete, but I know I'm missing some deeps, Sears, and then like here, Sears won't. Chrome's coming off. I couldn't get them to replace it down here, so all right. And Iron Man, thank you. Um. If you come up with the stuff, you come up with it. It's no big deal. 
So I'm going to compare my leftover sear sockets in here, see if I got to fill out any there. And, uh, and this is up to you if you want to do it or not. So, all right. Well, if I come up with any more ideas, I'll put them so I can put you a video together and have it private for you. So, and I'll print off a list on Facebook. So, all right. Thanks, buddy. Okay, Iron Man, I got them all accounted for. I've got a list. Looks like, well, it's quite a few, so. I guess, uh, bud, if you have all those, that, let me know how much they'll be, and I'll get some money to you, and uh, I can complete all my missing suit stuff, and, uh, yeah, so, all right, well, here you go, I'll leave it in your hands to figure out what you got, and what you felt, or if you can find this stuff, so, all right, thanks, bud. Okay, that killed some time. It took a little while longer than I thought, but I got that list for somebody, and uh, yeah. Uh, well, I guess I better make a phone call and find out when that supper is so I can go home and get ready for it. I don't know. I should check my numbers. Been a little bit. But anyhow, uh, yeah. These days are not getting much done. I gotta get them to come to an end. Kind of kicking around the idea of going out and loading that pickup so it's ready. So when I got the money here in a couple days, I can take that to town and power wash it. And lo and behold, guess what? It started raining. Yeah. So, I guess. And uh, what else? I don't know what else. But yeah, that's where I wish I had a big barrel out here and a power washer. And uh, I wouldn't have to take the stuff down and wash it. Power wash the hell out of it out here. But I'm going to give me a bigger barrel to catch rainwater. And then remember to drain the barrel during the winter so it doesn't freeze. But anyway, uh, yeah. So I guess if I'm going to go to that supper, this may be the end of the video for today because uh, I want to get this up since I didn't get one up yesterday and I get this up before I go to that supper because I'm pretty sure it's probably about 6 o'clock, 5, 6 o'clock. And uh, then we can uh, call it a good day. I keep looking around at all the stuff I got to do. And uh, basically the help I got will keep the lights on here and make a house payment. And give me a few dollars to wash up that truck and that get it to work and uh, get the tour into that and see what's going on. So, but anyway, I guess we'll go from there. Well, up you know, <laughs> dumbass, uh, Sitting there wasting a whole bunch of time going through all his tools, you know. He just, uh, yeah, he just loses stuff and can't find it. Yeah, that stuff was lost when the cattle used to be out here and gap into the machine shed where he used to work. And they'd knock his toolboxes over every time and drop the tools on the ground, and there he is out there digging them out of the ground. So, <sighs> should have ate the beef, saved the sockets. Yeah. Anyway, hey. <laughs> Hillbilly Deluxe here, still in here. Yeah, yeah. It's just, yeah, that's, uh, uh, it's got a problem. I uh, don't fix it. Okay. Okay. Some people. Yeah, I think I hit something today. I don't know why. <laughs> but yeah, this guy's crazy trying to work on all this shit. You know, he's got stuff, stuff down there. He got stuff over there. Man, he got stuff everywhere. No wonder he goes freaking nuts because he can't remember where everything is. He got too much stuff. He needs stuff. Get some rid of it. Yeah, get some rid of it. <laughs> but anyway, I guess. 
been a while since I've been around. I just thought I'd stop here and say hi and see how this idiot's doing with everything. And, uh, looks like he's still in the same boat he was last time I checked in. He's still bent over and didn't get the Vaseline from anybody. We had keepers, papers. Okay. What are we going to do with this guy? Is there anything we can do with him, or do we just write him off and uh, tell him to go? Bye bye. Here, here, here. But anyway, I guess. Oh shit, I think he's coming back in. So, yeah, see you guys later. Bye. Holy moly. I didn't think it was going to be that much work. I just planted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight maples, and I've got a bunch more to go. So, I just gotta figure out where I want to put those. Started putting trees back along the cornfield like there used to be down there years ago. So, but anyway, I'm running behind time. I'm trying to cool off here. That was a heck of a workout. Shouldn't have been, but muggy. Yeah, and carrying that pail with the trees in it. And they're really, those little seedlings I brought home, they're really taking off. So hopefully they like going in the ground. The ground's nice and moist and not dry. And we'll just put them in and see what happens. They grow, they grow. They don't, they don't. Try and get some more shade out here. And yeah. Out of all the trees I've taken down and all the trees that I've cut up and used for lumber. I'm trying to put some back that I've used, so. And my girls like trees, so. I guess I get her covered in trees. Want to get some red oaks. I got a couple of walnuts started here, so hopefully the walnuts will spread over the years. And uh, if I can do what I want to and get my little, get the farmland back and keep it, and not have to rent it and farm it myself. I got a couple areas where I want to start planting some walnuts and oaks and give my maybe my grand my great grandkids an inheritance if this farm stays in the, the this family that long. So anyway, I guess we'll call that it and hope you guys enjoyed today's video and we'll see what we can come up with over the weekend. So and everybody have a good uh, Labor Day weekend I think it is. I don't know. I'm probably getting it wrong. So, all right. Talk to y'all later. Thanks for watching.